Now, as Elementor Pro has grown and expanded, the tools and the widgets that are available have also expanded. One of the things is as that expands and you have tools that you just basically don't use and you want to hide, you currently can't do that with Elementor or Elementor Pro. Well, today we're going to take a look at a plugin that Ideabox have been developing, and that's the ability to hide these widgets. It's available on GitHub, and I'm going to show you, first of all, how you can grab that from GitHub. The link for this will be in the description below. And then once it's installed, I'll show you how easy it is just to start to clean up the interface inside Elementor Pro. And Elemental. Now, the one thing that this isn't going to do is not going to affect any of the third party plugins you may have that'll add extra widgets in, but a lot of plugins give you the ability to do this anyway. You can switch on and switch off the different widgets that you want. So, without further ado, let's take a look at how we could grab this from GitHub. Okay, so we're going to jump over to GitHub. Like I say, the link for this is in the description. Once you go over there, there's all the files that are available. And if you've never used GitHub before, this can be something that's a little bit confusing. You may need to sign up for an account to get the ability to download this. It's free. There's no obligations to it. You can simply sign up for an account, then you can log in and use these tools. So what we need to do is come over to this green button and you can see it says clone or download. We're going to click on there. We're going to choose to download zip. That's then going to zip all the files up and create that download it for us. The nice thing with this is once you've done that, you can just upload this as a normal plugin. You don't have to do anything more than that. So it's super simple to work with. So once you've done it, you've downloaded it, upload that zip and activate it inside WordPress. Once you've done that inside the dashboard, what we can do is we can come to the Elementor menu and in there we've got the option for Widget Manager. We're going to click to open up the Widget Manager and it couldn't get any simpler than this. You can bulk action, so you can, if you want to, activate or deactivate bulk selections of plugins, or sorry, widgets, I should say. You can also search for a widget you want to hide, deactivate, activate, you know, those kinds of things. Or you can simply scroll through and pick the ones that you want to activate. Or you can just choose to deactivate and activate from the right-hand column. It is super simple. So let's just say, for example, I don't want the accordion, the alert, the animated headlines, or audio. All I need to do is select those, choose deactivate, click apply. Those now have all been deactivated. So if we come over and create a new page, come into there, we'll just, not worry about this, we'll open up Elemental. Once we've done that and Elemental loads in, we'll do a search for the accordion and we'll find that that no longer exists inside this panel. So we come in, we'll type in accordion or start to type that in and you can see accordion is no longer available. So we can easily go through and take out on a, on a site by site basis those widgets that we just simply don't use. That's it. That's all it really does. It's nothing more complex than that. You know, we can come back in and we can say, well, actually, I want the accordion. I'll activate that. Come back over. We'll refresh this page so we can make sure we load up a fresh version of Elemental. And then we can come back in, start typing accordion. And there you go. Our accordion is back. So like I say, a super simple plugin does one simple job, does it well. A couple of things I would love to see on this if this is something they're going to develop further than this, which fingers crossed they will do. The ability to export this out. Just imagine now if you have a lot of sites and there's lots of tools, which I'm sure lots of us don't use all the widgets inside Elementor and Elementor Pro, just to be able to drop those out as a, a JSON file or something like that. And then you can just upload that to another site and another site and another site. And you can just simply then start off with the same set of tools, all activated and deactivated across the board. Other than that, that's it. You know, couldn't get much more simple than this. One thing I don't know, and I can't find any information out on. So if you can find this out, let me know. I don't know if deactivating these widgets will actually deactivate them simply from the admin interface. So in other words, we're just removing those widget icons so we don't access them through there. Or whether it kind of physically unloads those from the Elementor page editor, at which point we'd end up then, I would have thought, with a slightly smaller footprint for the files for Elementor. So if the developers or anybody knows, anybody from Ideabox could let me know on this, that would be fantastic. Drop a comment in the comment section and just let us know if this is just a visual change or whether it's actually unloading the code that's specific to these particular widgets. Anyway, like I say, the applicable link is in the description below. My name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, Take care.